be free when? No. Everybody shout. No. That's be free when? No. Everyone that's free when? is a journalist. Shawaret is a political activist. He has not done anything wrong. All he has done is to exercise his fundamental human rights to express himself, his right to associate, and his right to be free. The Nigerian government on August 3rd abducted him cowardly in the middle of the night. And ever since, he has been incommunicado. Shawaret is demanding that Nigeria, in spite of the huge resources we have, that it continues to wallow in mediocre leadership and Nigerian citizens continue to live in abject poverty and penury. Shawaret is demanding that it is unquestionable for you to have the average Nigerian worker going home with paltry and measly amount of 18,000 Naira a month. And there was so much news and cries by the political elites who believed that increasing the minimum wage to 30,000 was impossible for a country that earns billions and billions and billions of dollars from oil. A country whose senators, politicians, earn about $450,000 every year for doing absolutely nothing. But they believe that the Nigerian worker and the average Nigerian should continue to live in squatter. The war is demanding that every Nigerian deserves a good health care even though the Nigerian president will always travel to the UK to take care of his health. Shawara is demanding that it is inexplicable that Nigeria does not have infrastructure development in spite of the billions of dollars that the country has earned and continues to earn. We have a dichotomy in Nigeria between the rich and the poor. The rich keep getting richer and the poor keep getting poorer. Shawara, a very dogged human rights activist, very committed to the cause, left the convenience of the United States to go to Nigeria and mobilize Nigerians to protest against the incompetence, against the despair, against the helplessness of the Nigerian life. Shawara intended to give voice to the voiceless in Nigeria. Yes. And what did we find? They had to go abduct him. They grabbed him, they pushed him around, and flew him from Lagos to Abuja. What they have done is to suppress, is an attempt to suppress the will of the people. But Buhari ought to know that it is impossible for you to suppress that will because the time has come. The time has come for Nigerians to rise up and demand that enough is enough. enough is it's enough. time for Nigerians to rise up and demand that the shenanigans of the political class has come to stop. Yes. The country belongs to everybody. All of us. It doesn't belong to that very few Nigerians yes. who are, they are holding the, the Nigerian country by the juggler. They are holding and putting the country in a chokehold. It is inconceivable that anybody would imagine that Nigerians will continue to live the way Sorry. It's inconceivable that Nigerians will continue to live in the condition they are living in. And everybody knows that. Every Nigerian knows that. When you go to parties, when you go to churches, all we discuss is the state of Nigeria. And Shawara believes, and he has said, he can no longer sit 
on his arms and watch the country that is supposed to be the greatest country on the face of the earth, considering the potentials in terms of the human and natural resources, and watch that country drift into tyranny, drift into fascism, drift into totalitarianism, and of course, the poorest capital in the world. The corruption continues because there's enough to go around for everybody, yes. but we don't have enough to go around for the greedy. And Nigerians are demanding, through Shawore, that good governance is the hallmark of democracy, that Nigerians deserve a better life. So we are also insisting now, and we are demanding, that Omoyele Shawore should be released, and be released now. Oh. He has to be released unconditionally. Yes. Shawore has to be released unconditionally. Yes. Shawore has to be released unconditionally. We are not going to beg. Yes. We are not going to beg. Because this time, is a, we are at the point of no return. Shawore understands the people. Yes. Shawore is giving voice to the people. Yes. Shawore ran in an election, which we all know was a sham. It was a case of distributing numbers. Yes. Yeah, we are humbled by the number they gave to Shore. But that does not mean that Shore has advocated his right to be able to speak out for the despotency in Nigeria. So we are here today to demand that Shore should be released. Yes. The Nigerian government, as represented here by the, by the consular chief or whosoever is there, we are demanding that all you are doing to Shore is a breach of his fundamental human rights as guaranteed by the United Nations Charter, African Union Charter, yes. EU Charter, yes. and the Charter of Humanity. Yes. He hasn't done anything. How can you explain this? That the likes of the Malayas, that the likes of, of, of the threats amongst us, who are in the National Assembly, who are ministers, after a four-year failure report card, all the body can do Cycle these politicians. Those people, they are actually free. Why should we write this incarcerated? What an oxymoron. How can you defend that? It's unquestionable. And we are insisting that Shiwore has to be released. And until he's released, we will continue to fight on his behalf. On Tuesday, September 24th, we will be at the United Nations. We are where the president is coming. And we'll be there in large numbers to be able to speak out and tell Buhari to go back home, yes. to go back home and fix Nigeria. And of course, release Shomore. Enough! 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 Soli, 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 We shall always fight for our life. Slowly, 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 I need you forever. So, so, slowly, I need you forever. So, so, slowly, I need you forever. We shall always fight for our life. Slowly, 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 I need you forever.
People. I am aware that it's summer in New York and we all have engagements. But due to our commitment to this cause, we are here and we are not going to give up. A couple of weeks ago, and those children in very high spirits. You, can, you, you will see that it's in the gym. And you would expect that kids of, of that age, that they might, you know, uh, be frustrated or sad. But what it told to me actually gave me an encouragement that we actually have to fight on. Uh, we have in our midst, Mrs. Amoy Le So I'm going to defer to her to be able to address us. So please welcome Mrs. Okoyemi Shore. It's actually in the gym with the children and of course with the wife. Yeah. Okay, you have to for coming out to support Yelly today. Um, it's uh, with it's sad to see what um, that he's been held for so many days for something like wanting a better life for people in Nigeria. Um, simple things like education and security and minimum wage are super important things for everybody to have and to be held and kept silent for over seven, 47 days just really, really hurts my heart. So I want to say thank you to everybody here. Thank you for providing support. Thank you for continuing to keep his name in the news, in the forefront. Um, this will be over, and one day Nigeria will be what Yale dreams that it will be. Thank you, everybody. Round of applause. Woo! 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 For you, I mean, for, for more than 40, for the seven days now, sure. Yeah, um, so how's it been? It's it's hard, but what I would say is, Yale is fighting for what he believes in. He's fighting for a better Nigeria, and somebody has to do it. And I fully support him, and I believe that the leaders of Nigeria, at some point, will be open to a dialogue and a conversation to really help Nigeria become the place that we all dream of. Until now, they have not been able to press a single charge. Initially, they were struggling with the definition of revolution until Shores Anthony made the world realize that even President Buhari is an advocate of revolution and he was going to be the first witness. Now they have walked away from the word revolution. Now they were saying there was a meeting with somebody in fellow Nigeria. Shore has never killed anybody. Shore has never committed a crime before. But we have people in government, in Buhari's government, that are hosting criminals. 
that have killed thousands of Nigerians and are using Nigeria's taxes, taxpayers' money to compensate bandits, terrorists. But Shore is sitting down in detention without committing any crime. The only crime he has committed to the likes of Buhari is that he is advocating for a minimum wage that Buhari himself promised that it will be implemented. He was clamoring that the security of the, state of the country is falling apart and Nigeria has become a failed state. There is no country on earth today where the daily number of deaths by banditry, terrorists and kidnapping and abduction is greater than Nigeria. How can countries officially at war be safer than Nigeria? That is what Omayele Shawore was clamoring for, that this problem be fixed. And the response of the coward Buhari security operative was to go and abduct him in the middle of the night. They obtained an ex parte motion and uncontested court ruling to keep him for 45 days. He's 46 days. He's still in detention. We are calling for his immediate and unconditional release. Yes. Yes. And uh, the last time we were here on August 5th, we registered a protest and we met with the consular here. We submitted our formal demand that the Buhari government cannot take us back to the past. In 1983, the same Buhari overthrew our democratically elected president. Nigerians have the likes of Shore forced the military to a standstill and brought back. He cannot afford to take us back. So Shore has committed no crime. He cannot. You cannot detain somebody. Clamoring for social justice, clamoring for fairness, and accuse him of committing act of terrorism and treasonable felony. So we are here today. We want the message to go around sound and clear that we want immediate and unconditional release of Omar El Shaore. Thank you. Enough. 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 Enough.
we submit this to the Postal General for all the transfers of the President. So, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you are ashamed of the state of Nigeria. I'm sure you are ashamed of the state of Nigeria. Our okay, election will rest to be released now. We are not going to compromise that. So we as we are going to release now. We are not going to take that. Nigeria has suffered for too long. You guys are here representing the public government. Nigeria has been suffered and oppressed. I will not take that. We are not taking it. We are not taking it now. So I said, no, 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 no,
and have a meeting or negotiate with those who are suppressing the aspiration of Nigerians. They don't deserve that respect. They don't deserve such an audience. And they know if they need us to meet with them to tell them what is going on in Nigeria, then shame on them. Shame on them. Shame on them. Shame on them. Shame. represents the voice, the people, and the ability of Nigerians to be able to free themselves. Nigerians are no cowards. And Shore understands that we are actually sitting on the tech bomb. As a matter of fact, he's doing the government a favor by leading a protest to be able to express the way Nigerians feel. Because once the revolution is over, then all bets are what? They are lost. But in this case, what Shore is doing is to protect and give a voice. There is just no way that out of all these years, with all the revenue, with all money made by the Nigerian government, that Nigeria is in the state it is today. South Africa has a population of 50 million people. Guess how many megawatts of power they generate? 57,000. Nigeria has a population of almost 200 million. Guess how many power they generate? 4,000! 4,000! How, How do you explain that? What a shame! How do you explain that? Shame to so, so, our generations, our children and our generations that are born, we hold them that duty. And that's what Shora is doing. To speak out and demand that a Nigeria of our dream must emerge in our lifetime. We have had enough of the procrastination. We have had enough of the negotiation. Yeah. It is time to demand for action. And action now. And that is what Shawara is demanding for. So free Shawara! Now! Free Shawara! Now! Free Shawara! Now! We are now going to the UN to continue the other half. Thank you. <laughs> Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Great Nigerian people. Great. Friends of Nigeria. Great. We've come here for a very simple reason. We've come to demand that the Nigerian government, that Tuhari's government, Unconditionally on Moyele Shore and all the other patriots that were arrested for one simple reason. When Shore decided, when he declared that he was going to take protest, there were only five demands that he made. The first demand that Shore made was that Nigeria's situation in terms of the economy and jobs had to change. The second demand was that Nigeria's corruption problems had to be addressed. The third demand was that the educational system had to be revamped. The additional demand, the very simple demands that were made was that we needed reforms and that Nigeria needed to move forward. Five simple demands. And for making demands that mirrored the legitimate demand of the Nigerian people, the Buhari government arrested Shore. For those who think we are going to be silent while a tyrant and a dictator pretends to be a democrat They've got it wrong. Yes. We will never be silent. Yes. We will never be quiet. Yes. Showare is in jail today because he refused to be silent. Yes. And the Buhari government should realize this. That if they think they will come to New York next week and pretend to the world that they are Democrats, they are in for trouble. Yes. We can assure them of one thing. That if they think that the agitations of people in Nigeria will not be listened to. We can assure them that the laws of this country Sorry. will allow us to speak to them 
in an unhindered fashion. We can assure Buhari that when he comes here next week, we will welcome him. We will welcome him in our own special way. As Nigerians, we will speak truth to power. We will welcome him with the festival of New Year. We will welcome him with a festival of New Year. As my people would say, who don't know? Who don't know? Who don't know? Buhari will be here next week. And what we want the Nigerian government to know is very simple. When they took Shore to court, the courts gave them 45 days. 45 days to come up with whatever is the investigation they wanted to do. It is now 45 days. And they have found absolutely nothing. Because speaking truth to power is not treason. Give it voice to the legitimate needs and cries of the Nigerian people is not treason. So what we want them to do is very simple. Buhari has the opportunity before Tuesday next week, before Tuesday the 24th of September, he has an opportunity before that day, and that is the day that he's supposed to be speaking at the UN. He has an opportunity to release Omoyele Shoure and all the other people, all the other patriots that were arrested alongside him and as part of the legitimate protest of the Nigerian people. And here's what we are going to assure the government of, that if they refuse to release Shore, if they do not allow him to go unconditionally, that our voices will never be muted, we will continue to protest, we will continue to speak truth to power until Nigeria changes. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bob. Can you send me the video? Oh, this 
Can we start moving? Let's go. Yeah, let's let's keep moving. Let's go, guys.
church today 
Martin Luther King in the history book is a hero. When the Americans talk about industrial revolution, they're not talking about terrorism. They're not talking about violence. Revolution simply means change. Change from the status quo ante. Every time you cause a change in a system for good, you cause a revolution. Revolution means to revolve, to turn around, to change. It does not necessarily mean violence. And all the government did was to convert or convolute the original meaning of revolution and invert their own meaning, which is violence. And for this, the culture were a terrorist and they are holding him illegally. This is why we are here to call the attention of the world to this injustice and to ask respectfully that the world wakes in before Nigeria turns into a jungle where no law is observed. We want the whole world to wade in to call this senseless government into, to, to put some sense into their heads before Nigeria slides into anarchy. It's been over 45 days that Shawari has been abducted in the dead of the night. It's been kept incommunicado. Yet, the government has no evidence to pin against him. They have no evidence with which to convict him, and they continue to hold him. We are here to join the whole world in saying, enough, 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 enough. 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 We are asking that the whole world lend a voice into this struggle. Our demand is very simple. Free Showare. No. Free Showare. No. Free Showare. No. It is as simple as that. We are also asking, not just Showare, every other political victim, every other victim okay. of government persecution. Is that what we can say? Enough. Is enough. Enough. Is enough. Nigeria must be free. Nigeria must be free. Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria must be free. Show that. Show that must be free. Show Please go behind. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be behind. Yeah, the, the banner. Be behind the banner. Be behind the banner. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, Banner. Professor Wale showing now. Uh, Tell it Banner of Coalition for Revolution now. Call. Uh, the trees are so great. My crowd is so, so big. Fresh and worry now. Revolution now. Fresh and worry. Fresh and worry. Fresh
Tata, great Bobo, great Tata. I I want to speak in a in Fiji in a broken language. That is the language of the masses of, of the people of Nigeria. Shake the <laughs> In, in Nigeria, where masses, we have a government in Nigeria. The government will be safe. It go negotiate with terrorists. The government where they negotiate with terrorists and bandits and people who are terrorizing the people of Nigeria. Negotiate with them and give them billions of naira. And incarcerate an activist. Somebody who has seen the rot of the of, of, of the society and is clamoring for a better Nigeria, they incarcerate him. Is that a government? No. Can no. government be that? No. Government where no fee provide the basic amenity for the people, where no fee provide education. Over millions of people are outside on the streets. Children, they do for street, not team. No education, no electricity, no good roads, no power. Which country with that? No security. If you talk, they go kill you. If you don't talk, you go die. Who yeah. could talk, who could die? Because freedom of speech is our right. Yeah. It's there for our constitution. Yeah. And that constitution has to say that jungle constitution, where they bring together in order to enslave us. Yeah. That constitution, they, they, they patch up, patch up, patch up. They patch up together to enslave us. Yeah. And even in that constitution, our freedom to talk freely, our freedom of speech, freedom to protect, they, they, they collect up our hand. They collect that freedom from our hands. You cannot say anything, you cannot even express your opinion and express your mind for Nigeria. For anywhere, they go catch you, they go lock you up. Yes. In the middle of the night, in the tobacco time, they catch a more election and they go lock her up. They still collect for the five days. They were asking for 90 days, they collect for the five days. And for the five days don't pass. I don't know if they go to the Nosabi count. They don't savvy count. So we do have their counter. And now it's over 45 days. Make them release, they're not released. And their own children, then they say they go abroad, then they go take medical for Germany, uh, medical for UK, medical for America. We see our environment for America. Look at the environment, a civilized economy, a civilized country. But then go come here, they go come to the Tabet taxes where when they have here, they go come to Nigeria. They go come build us, they go come do things. We go, we go they I pass that one. They go come put police. The masses of Nigeria has not started, has not even got to a state. It is going to say that that pain will go break up. Yes. You go break your house and go pass justice on them. Yes. Because he who wants equity must go with clean hands. Yes. They are taking our resources. They have no feet. They have no do there for Nigeria. They won't come chop you for Germany. <laughs> so they have a special yam they are bringing down to this country. But we are tired. We are tired of corruption. We are tired of injustice. We are tired of everything that they are doing in that country that is not right. We want justice. And justice for the staff. Justice, injustice for what is injustice to us. They have done injustice to our election order. And we will not stand and we will not stand and close our mouth and see the way they are doing. No matter the threats they will be sending. I know they will soon go and send all of us threats on Facebook that will come to Nigeria, they will kill us. If you kill us once, you cannot kill us another time. And we are ready to lay down our life for the development of our country. We are here to tell them, to pass the message across to them, to let them know that you cannot kill all of us. Even an idea that the time has come, the time of idea to liberate Nigeria has come. And you cannot kill that idea. And I'm telling you, my life is just one. And if you kill me, you cannot take me out of the grave and kill me again. And, and because be better, we are ready for anything, before it generates to other things, and other groups started taking arms, we come, we have no arms, we have no gun, and you incarcerated us. You killing us. You can't travel from one place to another in your country without being relayed. The police will arrest you, the army will arrest you, the navy will arrest you. Everything will arrest you. Yes, yes. You can't even set up a business. Yes, they will kill it. 
Right now, we are saying no, no to corruption, no, no to stealing our money and no. taking it to develop another country, no, no to them coming to America, Europe, or wherever they go for medical. No, is it, is it, is it, is it very wrong to demand good governance? No. Is it very wrong to demand free health for all? No. They will take the money, they will come and build their own house, they will buy house in America, buy house wherever. And they are leaving Nigeria, leaving Nigeria with nothing. The money is enough to go around for everybody. Nigeria is making, the kind of money they are making is enough to solve Nigerians out. It's even enough to cover the whole of Africa. But they go collect the money, they go come give out for Swiss. They go buy out for Dubai. They go buy out for America. And Nigeria is left with nothing. And we are saying no, 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 no. We have been sleeping too much. Nigeria has woken up. The arms, Nigeria has to be free. And the way I show that we are demanding unconditional. We just say we will go must release them unconditionally. Yes. If they're not here, we go get somebody who can translate it in Abuja to. The president, Mohamed Buhari. And I say, you're a man. I can translate it to the vice president. Because the man has returned to his kitchen cabinet right now. Yes. Without mixing work, we want a way to be free now. Because it's right to speak, to freedom of speech and protest. He has exercised that right, and they are caging him for that. So we are saying right now, no more, no more detention. No more. You have to release him unconditionally. Yes. No. And we, we demand that without missing words. Yes. And that is what we demand. Yes. Thank you. When I remember back my country, what I run away my eyes. Aye, what I run away my eyes. When I remember my, I remember what I run away my eyes. Aye, aye, what I run away my eyes. When I remember when waiting there to so demo, I always they cry oh. Aye, aye, what I run away my eyes. Of the greatest Nigerian, of the greatest. Please, we are here for a purpose. Yeah. And why we are here is to, to let people know what we are facing in our country. As countries, as, as Nigerians so far, we, have, we enjoy the benefits of we are Nigerians. But it's quite unfortunate back home if we are being maltreated as a non Nigerian. And that's why we are here. So I want everybody to be active, to be to be well, of, well, well, well cooperated to what we're going to do. Because we, don't, we are not here for play and we are here for joke. When I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember what I run away my eyes. Aye, 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 what I run away my eyes. When I see what's in the happen in South Africa, what I run away my eyes. Aye, 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 what I run away my eyes. When I remember waiting they happen for that my own country, oh, what I run away my eyes. Aye, 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 what I run away my eyes. Making a tap while you saying government they destroy us, oh, what I run away my eyes. Aye, aye, what I run away. Making a tap in no, we say we.